My name is Valerie Walker. Um, I came to Springs uh, six years ago. Uh, this is my sixth year teaching second grade, which I love. I love the age group. I love their curiosity. I love their personalities at this age. It's really great. Um, I think one of the things that when we started um, really focusing on making learning really personalized for each student, I think as a teacher that's really kind of hard to get a grasp on. Um, when we started working with the program called iReady, it kind of made it an easy transition for me to get to the personalized level for a lot of the kids. Um, so we use that program, we can test, we can see where the kids are at, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. So it's really helped as a way to um, just kind of like kickstart that personalized learning. When we start the year, we you know start with some I ready uh, the diagnostic test, and then after we do that, we um, we go over the results together and say, okay, look at you were in the on level um, area for your math, but look at down here when we got down to geometry, it looks like we could use a little more help in that area. From our Goal setting with iReady, we've kind of taken um, some of the predictions that iReady has set for a student based on how they've started the beginning of the year, how they've um, taken a next diagnostic test at the middle of the year, and it'll project where they think the student will end the year. So we kind of um, make it a motivator for our kids. We we work as a team, we say, okay, this is what iReady thinks we're gonna get. Let's try and let's try and beat that, you guys. Let's try and really like, oh computer, you had me all wrong. I can I can zoom past that. Um, my friend Mia today is going to be logging in to show how the kids uh, can log into iReady and how they can kind of check their progress and see how they're doing. Um, so go ahead Mia, let's, let's show us how you log in and get to your stuff. So all the kids have a special number and password. Um, we have all that in a cabinet they can refer to if they've forgotten anything. And when she signs in, she can pick um, reading or math, but we've been focusing on math lately, so she can go ahead and pick math. And if she wants to see how she's doing, what are you gonna go to? Good. And then what are you going to do to see how you've done on your lessons? Good. So she can choose from any of these areas. If it's got a drop down menu, the blue dot, then um, she's done some lessons in there so she can see how she's progressing through. Uh, let's go to this one. Okay, so what do those red ones mean? Yeah. Good. And so what do we do when we see some of those? We work and we kind of see what we can do to catch it up. Does it there could be a report for anything that you can think of. <laughs> you can see how your class is doing. You can see how a student's doing. You, it, it will suggest small groups for you based on a group of students' needs. It'll set all of that up for you. It'll even tell you what you should be teaching them. I mean, it's it's amazing. So. Uh, one of the ones that I use most often is to go to reports. Um, then I will click on student reports and find a student's report. Um, someone down here, random student. Uh, I can see how they how they did just on test one, which was at the beginning of the year, or how they've done mid semester, the test that we just recently have taken. It'll compare those areas and I can scroll down and see how the student's doing. So for instance, in this area of geometry, my friend is scoring a little low. So she may have noticed that already and she may have already came up to me and mentioned that, but I track it and I see how their progress is doing. And if it's a little time has gone by and she hasn't really come up to me, I'll, I'll seek her out and we'll do a one-on-one -on -one or a small group if there's a couple of kids that need help. And so what I'll do is, uh, in the area of geometry, she's scoring 
and some of the stuff that she's been doing about a level K. So I go up to resources now, I can pull up math, I can pull up geometry, and I hit get tools, it'll give me several PDFs ranging from kindergarten all the way up. So if she was a challenge student who needed something more, I can still pull a challenge. I'm not just focusing on those kids that need help, I'm focusing on all spectrums of their learning. So for my friend who was scoring low and had some level K in geometry, I can go through and I can pull up making shapes, I can pull up plain figures, and I can get this lesson. It comes up as a PDF for me, I can print it if I need to, or me and her can just work off of my computer screen. So when we're using iReady and we're sitting together and we're just going over, look at all this that you've accomplished, and it's more the student leading me through what they've accomplished and knowing that they're owning what they learned. It's the best feeling as a teacher, and it's what makes you come to school every day, to see that in their face and see that ownership that they have really got what they need to get.